Hey, this is Notzer, and this is the Tier 9 US Destroyer Fletcher. It has 5 main guns, 10 torpedoes, 22 AA guns, a surface detection of 6.4 kilometers, top speed 36.5 knots, total health 17,100. For my modules, reduced crit chance on main battery and propulsion, better main battery accuracy, faster rudder shift, and concealment. For my commander, situation awareness, basic firing training, faster tra traverse, lower cooldown on torpedoes, superintendent, and last stand. We are on the map hotspot, and this is the first of two replays today. I figured give the people what they want. <laughs> these are th these are short replays, 10, 15 minutes. So this might be a weekly event, and I'm calling it Anchors Away, because why not? So we initially wanted to move towards B. Why B? Because it's always empty. I don't know why people leave B empty. So, first contact is an enemy battleship somewhere off of B. Enemy is already capturing C. It's probably an enemy destroyer. We do outnumber the enemy in destroyers two to one. So, if any of our destroyers contact the enemy, we should be able to take them out. Or, at the very least, damage them to a state where our allies can follow up. And as I'm reaching B, Still, nobody is in and around B, and someone starts capturing A, so that must be where the other enemy destroyer is. And I'm trying to consider who I could send torpedoes at. This enemy North Carolina is headed out east. I send one set, just before the island, of course. And we take a quick check of the other side. By the way, look at how many battleships are in this game. There are... All but seven of the ships are battleships. Yeah. The entire team composition is eight battleships and four destroyers. That's it. Against what looks like nine battleships, a cruiser, and two destroyers. Just unreal numbers. These are very rare currently to me. To me, it's more reasonable to expect four battleships three to five cruisers, and three destroyers, somewhere in that realm. And it looks like we land one torpedo on the enemy North Carolina. We land two more on the Izumo. And we cause one flood of the three. What's the chance of that? And for half a second, we were visible. The Izumo is apparently running some crazy secondary build. You could just see the secondaries rain down on us. And I share that intel with my team. The Izumo appears to still have... No, he's using a heal. He doesn't have the dot on him. The enemy team's doing pretty good. They have A and C. We only have B, just barely. If these battleships go into B, we really can't deal with them. I can't send out an unlimited supply of torpedoes. I do have a cooldown. So I would have to give ground. Most of my team is spread out way wide and they don't have to deal with what looks like seven ships yeah seven ships are out of the range we send out another set on this Izumo who is now trying to retake B and the Izumo for those who don't know it's the tier 9 Japanese battleship all of its guns are forward on the ship but it still needs to turn pretty heavily to bring that third turret to bear Attention. she is she I wouldn't call her ridiculously sluggish but she's she's not the fastest ship in the fleet 27.2 knots she can get up to 28 and I decide the hell with it we'll fire on him we'll make him interested in dealing with us hopefully it'll distract him long enough that my torpedoes can make contact with him in. Oh boy, do I suffer for that. But he's able to find a gap and fit himself right in between and just, <sighs> don't you hate it? When the torpedoes are just wide enough that he can fit in. And at this point, pop the smoke. I don't need to sustain any more damage from him. Friendly should be spotting him, but oh no, not sir, yes. The friendly destroyer has also popped his smoke. Don't pop your smoke unless you're taking fire. 
Right now, neither of us can spot this guy. Thankfully, he leaves the safety of the smoke, I believe. We're gonna exploit this to the fullest. And I'm trying to get it on the superstructure. There's a fire. <laughs> he finishes him off with torpedoes. Awesome. But we're, we're still down a base to the enemy. And it doesn't look like my team has really found any way to put pressure on the enemy. So I'm going to be like, someone has to get C. So I'm going to go get C. Don't know where the enemy destroyers are. Haven't really spotted them. I have two friendly destroyers that appear to be super far south. Don't know what they're doing. But we need this objective. And it looks like I'm the only one who's going to do it. So I'm headed for it. At this point, we have two battleship kills on the enemy and we're still behind so if they were to bring this back two more battleships they would be ahead by about 140 points and that's a little scary so we need some time with a base advantage it looks like the montana of all people has volunteered to come in to capture sea and oh no just as I feared, there's an enemy destroyer in here. It's a Shimakaze, tier 10 Japanese destroyer. And he's half health, I'm half health. There's nothing I can really do. He, of course he's pointed right at me. Why wouldn't he be pointed right at me? So I'm trying to stay as neutral as I can. Yes, I'm denying most of my guns, but I'm also denying an easy shot for him. And of course, he takes out one of the front guns. Why would I expect anything differently? But the friendlies are able to help me kill him. I think he's the only one here. So we're going to try and capture. It looks like everyone on the enemy team is now at A. And they don't have an advantage anymore. And yes, we will successfully capture C. I believe for half a second, the enemy destroyer flashed near A as we were in the process of engaging the Shimakaze and capturing C. So we pretty much know where every single enemy ship is located because they're either battleships, the cruiser, or that token destroyer. So C is secured. We can head to B and maybe make contact with an enemy battleship or two. The Yamato dies to either a flood or a fire. Yes! That is a lot of power on the enemy team taken out. Enemy tier 10 Japanese cruiser, Zhao. He's a little scary for a destroyer. Gonna be completely honest, I have no intention of engaging him at all. We are merely going to send out our torpedoes and hopefully he will engage a friendly. But... <laughs> We can, we can stand to give a little bit of ground. We do have a sizable advantage, and here is the other destroyer. He's been invisible for most of the game, and my secondaries reveal me to the enemy. So I'm turning off my secondaries because I'm a bad destroyer. And once they're turned off, I am gone. The torpedoes that I did send out were not successful. And that Fletcher, I think he's hounding me. Well, there's a Turpitz right in front of you. Hopefully the Turpitz can do damage to him. I was thinking at the time, I will come around this island, I will sit behind the Turpitz, and I will engage that enemy Fletcher. I don't really put a lot of stock in my ability to engage that cruiser or the destroyer by myself. It's really convenient that there is a friendly Turpitz. I do have my smoke back up, though, so that is an option. Especially when you know this destroyer will be scouted for you. He uses his smoke. But he is moving forward. So it's not really going to be useful. And is he going to turn his guns? Yes, he's turning his guns. Oh no. We need to kill this guy right now. We miss with one of our salvos. We hit with the secondary follow-up. And we're sustaining a ton of damage. Ah... Uh, I choose to use my smoke in a last ditch effort. We are outside of the auto detection, but he gets one last shot off on me. He's firing blind, ah! Avoid, avoid! Way too hairy, wow, that was way too close. 
And I'm a little terrified that he would come forward trying to put myself in a position where I can send out torpedoes. Also, I'm trying to bring all my guns to bear. I think I have one shot to kill him or get the first shot off. And I need to take it, of course. This is very tense. Neither of us have Hydro, of course. Destroyers don't get that. You're silly not, sir. Suggesting such a buff. How dare you. We fight like men down here at destroyer level. Oh, he's firing from smoke. Okay. Looks like he was disinterested in continuing the assault. We are going to boost in there, ambush him, and take him out as long as we see that his guns are pointed towards the turpits. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to send out torpedoes to try and take out this Amaki. The friendly turpits is destroyed, unfortunately. And oh boy, this is a bad, bad choice. This destroyer is going to be ready to engage me. I'm trying to rotate my guns. I feel like he's going to be on the left side. Where are you, destroyer? Where are you? He's going to show up any second now. And he, there he is. He's right in front of us. Oh, crap. He can send out torpedoes. We fire. We have another set. We lead the target. He kills us. But we get our set out. Is it enough to kill the enemy destroyer? Yes! We take him out. But the first set that we sent out towards the Amagi is getting close to the target. Can we kill him too? Oh, boy. Yes! We get a double. It's just a flesh wound. And now there's only two enemy ships left. Oh, that was so awesome. The game, uh, it was okay. Our team was pretty handily in control for most of it by taking them out one by one. It was a very weird game. I can't believe how many battleships a 0.5.2 game had. It's just unheard of. But, you know, it... That moment was awesome. It was worth it to share it with you. Friendlies are trying to mop up. Enemy tier 10, the Zao, very scary. The Fabuki is rightfully staying as far away from him as he can while also sending out his torpedo sets. Friendlies take out the enemy battleship. This guy's the only guy left in town. And spoiler, we will be able to kill him. <laughs> This would be a solo warrior plus two. I bet you, well, I'm not going to say never, but it would be pretty hard to earn solo warrior plus two. The Fabuki lands one of his torpedoes and friendlies take out the enemies out. Woo, actually got a kill at the very end. So two kills, both occurring after our demise. It was, it was fun. We were able to be top on the leaderboard just with that. 2,521 base XP. And damage was 60,000. Nothing much. But that is not all that we have. We also have a Admiral Hipper game. And we're going to switch over to that right now. So we are in the Tier 8 German cruiser Admiral Hipper. It has 8 main guns, 12 secondary guns. 55 AA guns, 12 torpedoes, a top speed of 32 knots, total health 43,800. For my modules, reduce crit chance on main battery, increase main battery accuracy, reduce flood and fire chance, faster rudder shift, and concealment. For our commander, situation awareness, basic firing training, faster turret traverse, lower cooldown on damage control, superintendent, and advanced firing training. We are on the map Shatter. And oh boy, are we going to shatter some dreams? <laughs> This map is very interesting. You pretty much spawn in range of the enemy if you're on a battleship or a German cruiser. And I wanted to try and move forward to engage either an enemy cruiser or an enemy destroyer that went too close to sea. And I'm getting a lot of love in the chat. I really appreciate everyone, every single game. I bump into people who recognize me now. It's, it's a little overwhelming. <laughs> It's, it's pretty cool. I don't advertise. They just find me. <laughs> Either at the beginning or the end. Hey, Notzer, Love your vids. Thanks. I'm really happy you enjoy them. Now, this enemy Fabuki is trying to capture a C. But we're not going to let him. We still are firing AP because I just switched to it in my German cruiser. Unlike the York, 
the AP on the Admiral is superb. This ship is such a pleasure to play. The velocity, the turret rotation, the tankiness, oh, it has everything that I could ever want in a German cruiser. Now we see an enemy Pensacola and we're gonna try and engage him. He's showing a little bit of his side and we get a Citadel penetration. 7K, incapacitate one of his guns. And look at him drop already. He's already below a third of his hit points. Notice on the mini map, there's an enemy cruiser trying to capture B. We miss with our follow-up. Uh, come on, not sir. We can land this. And yep, he's too much of a threat to the game to ignore. It's an enemy York. Ah, an enemy York. Speaking of the York. <laughs> this ship, this ship is terrible. <laughs> yes, they buffed the turret rotation. They did do that. But its velocity is just awful. I've never seen a ship where you basically can't use AP past 10 kilometers. It's just too slow. And he's showing a lot of his side waterline, of course. We get a Citadel 8200, and we prevent him from capturing B. Now, it looks like he's going down that very narrow gap. Friendly Cruiser sees this. The Friendly Cruiser at C3, he's trying to head to cut him off. And he actually suggests that we concentrate fire. I would love to. I don't have line of sight. So what I do, foolishly, I'm going to head to B. Yes, that's right. I'm going to go into the center of the map with very little maneuverability and rely on my team that there won't be an enemy destroyer that ends me. And while we're headed there, I'm just going to engage passively these enemies. We are spotted though, and initially I was like, am I spotted because I'm firing, or am I spotted because there's an enemy destroyer close by? Well, we see two of the three enemy destroyers right now. Neither of them could possibly spot me. And we're, we're doing okay on the Colorado. Not really the, the ideal ammo, or the distance, or the angling, but that's not our goal. Our goal, is making sure that York and the York dies, actually. Since the York's dead, we can do the next best thing, capture B. Someone on our team has captured A, thankfully. No one has captured B or C, though. And putting pressure on the enemy to react is one of the best things you can do. Enemy Kagero is headed in. Kagero disappears, and initially I was like, oh, did he pop his smoke? That would be scary. No, it doesn't look like it. It looks like... He broke contact, and then I re-established it. But our guns miss. We lead the target too much. We switch to HE because that is the superior ammo type against destroyers. And we land a little bit of damage. We incapacitate his front gun. We incapacitate a little bit more. Propulsion's knocked out. And it looks like he's going to sail right into the island. We'll be able to finish him off. And I'm just trying to kill him with the understanding he might have dropped torpedoes. And... There's kind of an invisible barrier right there. Did you see how the round kind of got caught in midair? And I don't actually pick up on that until this shot. Look at these. He's protected, slightly. A little bit of his ship is protected by an invisible barrier. And unfortunately, that shot that would kill him is unable to make contact with him. And Friendly is pinging out an enemy destroyer. Enemy Mogami. Oh my god, Notzer, this is a terrible idea. The enemy destroyer has popped smoke. Here come the torpedoes. Ah, oh, we're able to kill him blind fire. But we will take a torpedo. At least one. I'm trying to turn the butt. Come on. Front nose and oh, just the front nose. I choose to use damage control. This Mogami is actually not looking at me, surprisingly. Most likely, yep, here they come. He misses though. He expected me to continue. And this is one of those instances where a ally on his team interrupted his ideal torpedo strike. I had to react to the enemy destroyer torpedoes. Therefore, I was safe from the Mogami's torpedoes. So, oh, we land a nice citadel. Did not expect that. Therefore, whenever you're around an ally, you need to consider his options. He sends out the rest of his torpedoes on the other side. We get a nice cheeky citadel right before the island. 
14,000 points of damage. We completely avoid those torpedoes, but... Oh my god, Notzer. You are insane. It looks like the entire enemy team over by A wants to kill you. <laughs> That's what I was saying. What could I do? I couldn't... <sighs> I was going to be. I was engaging the destroyer. I was trying to avoid the torpedoes. This is all I could do. I couldn't go back. I would die. <laughs> so the enemy of Gami is rotating his guns. We fire at the waterline. We miss the citadel. I figure this other Magami will be a perfect for my German torpedoes. Rarely get to use them. The Mogami we engage with the guns sends out his torpedoes. It's scouted out by our aircraft just before it dies. We land a citadel. We do 16,000 points of damage and oh boy, I want him dead so bad. It looks like the enemy Mogami is going to line up perfectly with my torpedoes and I'm trying to avoid. Yeah, we finish him off with our guns. The torpedoes look to be clear of the wreck and we take out the enemy Mogami. Double strike. Double Mogami strike. And wait, there's an of course. 275 videos. Notzer has run aground. 269 of them. Alright. And I beg the turpits, please, Mac, show some mercy. Look, I ran aground. I'm an idiot. Okay. But no, it doesn't work. He completely annihilates our ship. 12,000 points of damage. Had to be a citadel. Good shooting, Mac, and I'm happy either way. We were able to enter B, we captured it, we took out all those ships, and we ran aground. Of course, that led to our downfall. How could it not? Mac was right there. He made me pay for that. And while my team's wrapping it up, I would like to talk about something that's very important to me. Islands. I don't know why. I keep running into islands. It's very embarrassing to me. Quite honestly, early on, when I was making videos, okay, so I had my voice that was, eh, is it okay? Does it sound okay? Okay, we got over that. Okay. Well, then you get to play the game, and one of the faults that is very consistent, even from the first few videos, is me running into islands. I thought it was just a phase. I would get out of it. Oh, I'll sail better. I'll get better. Well, I don't think it's a phase. I think it's a inherent fault with my character. And I'm ashamed of you all for enjoying it so much. Suggesting that I create a compilation of me running into islands over the 270 plus videos. Do you understand? That's like two hours. Shame on you. Shame on all of you. So, our team was able to win the game. Good job, team. Three kills, a double strike, eight citadels, and uh, running into an island. But obviously, I, I don't need to list that. I read your comments. 2,490 base XP. Ooh, we helped support our team. Over 85,000 points of damage. Look at the 250 damage on the torpedo hit. That's all we needed. And uh, I hope you enjoyed these two games. They had some interesting moments, right? I hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll catch you next time.